Hey everybody, it's Russell back with DieselGiant.com. On today's video, I want to do a overview to answer some people's questions. That this is a question I get a lot. What is the difference between a spark plug and a glow plug? What I want to do is just give you a little bit of background, a little bit of explanation, and then I'm going to show you a few things because I don't want to assume that everybody knows what I know, okay? If you're a beginner and you're not really sure what a spark plug does and what a glow plug does, or if you're you know, a semi-novice, you're learning, you want to learn about diesel engines and you're new to this whole do-it-yourself thing, I want to make sure that you understand the differences because there are huge differences. In a nutshell, you've got two types of internal combustion engines that we're going to discuss. One, you've got a gasoline engine which uses spark plugs, and you've got a diesel engine which uses glow plugs. Now there are some diesel engines that don't use glow plugs, they use what's called a grid heater, which is really just a big huge mesh wire that does the same thing as a glow plug does, it just does it in the intake instead of in each cylinder. So a spark plug, what does a spark plug do? A spark plug ignites the gasoline air mixture in a gas engine. Now this could be your motorcycle, your car, your boat engine, uh, it could be two or four stroke, it doesn't matter. Um, there, anything that runs with a gasoline engine has a spark plug. Now, if you remember from high school um, physics or chemistry class, you know that when you compress air, it gets hotter. Okay, The more that you compress it, the hotter the air gets. Gasoline engines are roughly between about 8 and 10 to 1 compression. Uh, racing engines, high performance engines can be up to 12, 12 and a half. But basically that's not enough to allow the mixture to ignite by itself. So what happens is when the um, air fuel mixture gets, ignite, gets compressed, the spark plug fires and that provides the heat. Remember, all internal combustion engines need three things. They need fuel, they need air, and they need heat or an ignition source. The ignition source for a gas engine is the spark plug. Now a diesel engine, by comparison, the compression ratios are much higher. Usually 17, 18, all the way up to 25 to 1. So they can be almost two times the compression of a comparable gas engine. Now depending on how old the diesel engine is, you know, with the newer emission standards, they're dropping the compression ratios to try to get rid of some of the knocks, but we're not going to go into all that. Just know that when a regular diesel engine compresses the air, it's compressing it into a much, much smaller space than the gas engine does. So the air temperature gets around 1700 to 2000 degrees, and this is plenty hot enough for diesel fuel to ignite. Now, why do diesel engines use glow plugs? One reason, cold starting. Since there is no ignition source, the ignition is the heat of compression in a diesel. It helps them greatly when the engines are cold. Depending on what kind of diesel engine you have, the engineers have designed the glow plug circuit or the grid um, heater circuit to come on at a certain level, usually when the engine is cold, like it's been sitting overnight, heats the air up inside the cylinder, and then it helps it to start. Will a diesel start without the glow plugs working? Almost all the time, yes, but it depends if it's way, way, you know, like 10 below zero, it really needs the glow plugs. Uh, if you're living in Florida and it's only 40 degrees, the thing probably will start. But remember, if the engine has got a lot of wear on it, so the compression ratio is not like it used to be, if it's borderline, sometimes it may have problems starting, even when it's warm. But glow plugs, they heat up for a certain amount of time, usually between 5 and 15 seconds, depending if you've got a fast system, uh, some of the newer cars have, or if you've got one of the older, like an older Mercedes, it may stay on for longer, but it heats the air inside there, and when you go to turn the engine over, that heat will help the engine to start. Glow plugs are usually not needed once the engine is up to operating temperature or it's warm outside. They may, they may still come on for a few seconds, uh, or they may not, depending on, on the car. But after the engine's running, the glow plugs shut off. It's not needed because remember the compression, every time the 
the piston squeezes that air, it gets super, super hot, and the injector squirts the diesel fuel in, and that's how it ignites. Whereas on a gas engine, a spark plug is needed every single time um, the engine gets ready to go through its power stroke or the, or the combustion cycle. So that's the main differences, all right? Just remember, glow plugs and diesel engines aid in starting. They don't aid in running. They're not needed in running. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually show you the difference between a spark plug and a glow plug. Um, and again, you know, if you're a novice and you've, no one's ever explained this to you, I don't want to assume that you know this. But let me cut and set the camera up over at the, uh, the workbench and show you the difference between a spark plug and a glow plug. Okay, guys, this is a typical spark plug right here. This actually is one out of a motorcycle, a spark plug out of a lawnmower or car, whatever. They all basically operate the same way. Some may be a little longer, some may be a little fatter, but they operate the basic the same way. If you can see on the tip here, there's a small little gap and that is where the spark, every time the um, engine is ready to combust fuel, there will be a spark right there between the electrode and the uh, element right there. So that is a spark plug. This is a glow plug. You can see they're very similar, but what happens is this tip right here glows red cherry hot. It gets about uh, 1500 degrees or so. This will have a spark plug wire connected to it. The glow plug will have a power wire connected to it. This is screwed into the engine. They're both screwed into the engine the same way. Uh, this element sticks into either a pre-chamber or the combustion chamber area. And again, when you turn the key, this will glow red hot. And I'm going to actually show you what it looks like, um, which most people have never seen a glow plug operate. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you hook battery voltage up to it. Um, so that's the main differences. If nobody has ever showed you that, um, this is just some basic diesel knowledge, basic engine knowledge that's good to have. This glow plug right here is out of a Mercedes. This is considered a fast glow, glow plug. This is a retro unit. Uh, some of them are more narrow and skinny like spark plugs. Some of them for Volkswagens are real long uh, and really narrow. They call them pencil plugs, but they operate the same way. Uh, the newer plugs will heat up almost instantaneously where these, uh, this may take a few seconds, an older loop style plug, which instead of having this element right here, it would have a loop of wire, almost look like a little coat, piece of coat hanger. That takes a while. That's old, old technology. But anyway, that's the main differences. And I'm going to go ahead and hook this plug right here to battery voltage and we'll see what this does in just a minute. Okay guys, um, what I'm about to do is I'm about to show you what it looks like when a glow plug gets its uh, power from the engine. I have these battery cables hooked up. Uh, I've got the negative terminal hooked up to the body of the plug here. All right. This would represent uh, basically when your plug is in the engine and it's grounded. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the positive lead here and I'm going to connect it to the end and you're going to see this tip right here glow cherry red. Now I've got to tell you if you're going to do this, this is very, very, can be very dangerous. Um, this plug is going to get extremely hot and also if you touch the two terminals you're going to short, could short your battery out. This is one way that you can test your glow plug. This is called the poor man's test to see if the glow plug functions at all. Uh, if it's shorted out, that tip will not glow. So let me go ahead and touch the tip. Okay, you see that glowing red? The tip of it? And we'll take the power off. All right, that tip is extremely hot. You see it's still hot. 
Do not touch the plug. The entire plug is going to be hot right now. But that's what a glow plug does. I'm going to do it one more time for you. Let me get it down here where the camera can focus. And if you turn your key, okay, you turn your key, and that's what's happening inside your engine on each of the glow plugs. Okay? So I hope that gives you a little bit better knowledge about what your glow plug does. Uh, again, if you've got a, like a Dodge with the Cummins in it, you have a grid heater, which is um, basically kind of a different, a different way to, do the, to accomplish the same thing. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, if you have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see, then just leave me a comment below, and everyone have a safe day.